Hello, water signs. Thank you for tuning in to a Libra's Way. I am doing your um, monthly readings for May 2023. So lots of excitement, lots of things brewing. May is going to be uh, one hell of a run. Is that, That's what I'm hearing. So I'm just going to shuffle these cards, the decks, just to prepare for our May reading. So I feel drawn to use these three cards or these three decks before water signs during May. So let's see what your mini readings are all about. Let's see what is coming in. We're going to do Pisces, Cancer, and then Scorpio timestamps are below in the description box or in the comment section. Um, hope you enjoy. All right, let's see what's coming in. These are mini messages, five minutes, no longer, no, sh you know, maybe a little bit shorter depending. These are just, let's get it out. I feel like there's some people Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Some people have to like over explain themselves. Some people are having to like right their wrongs this month that are Pisceans. Look at that courthouse. Kind of bring like justice or like kind of bring attention to like matters. Feeling and being misunderstood. Concern is here as well. So this month, Pisces, you might be dealing with like a misunderstanding of some sort. It's kind of bothering you. It's making it difficult to get through to certain people. Maybe, maybe the privileged lady is you or you're in a place where like something about how you are is misunderstood. The wealthy man is at the bottom. So I do feel like somebody's about to come into money of some sort or there's at least an expectation that money is coming this month. I'm hearing no later than the third week. And look what came out when I cut the deck in half. This is for sun, moon, rising signs. I feel like no later than the third week will that money be seen or will that money be transferred into your account and it's separate from bonuses, it's separate from your paycheck, it's separate from everything else. It feels like it's a very distinctive, specific thing. And I'm also hearing bull run, which you guys know we've talked about. But Taurus season was all about working and preparing and building. And it feels like whatever this thing is, it's like the the thing, look. One, eight. Notice how the numbers are one and eight. Look what comes, what we just pulled. That's a nine. One plus eight is nine. Again, building, building the formula in order to, yeah, look what came out when I just, third week, week number three. So I don't know if any of these things are specific to you, to your story, but this is the energy that I'm hearing six weeks. Six weeks, you can leave your job. Six weeks, you can transform your life. Tr six weeks is cancer season, if I'm not mistaken, is, oh man, it feels like cancer season, you're like free of everything or something. So by cancer season, it feels like the life that you wanted will have already started. And it happens through, again, this opportunity. Look at the new moon. It's like wishing upon a star and that opportunity ends up coming full circle for the Piscean by, um, what is the next new moon? I don't know, but there's something about new moon vibes too, because we're seeing new, we're seeing something new. So it's like new moon <clears throat> following the cycles of the lunar chart and focusing on when the new moon comes around or the new moons in the next two to three months are occurring. Something about the new moons are going to dictate a lot of things. Fun, funny, funny, funny. We see blessings with no other than the bird. <laughs> if you guys have been watching my channel, you know what I'm talking about. All right, Pisces, thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way. Let's move into Cancer. Y'all are doing awesome. Remember, that was for sun, moon, rising signs. So um, Cancer it has unexpected income, but we're going to get into that in a second. Let me just reshuffle the deck. A lot of people are going to see unexpected income this month, for, especially if Piscean. Oh my gosh, look at this. <sighs> cancer season, man. Cancer season or Cancerian. Okay, we're just going to shuffle the deck right now. Okay, when I was shuffling, this is what we're getting. I'm thriving. Okay, we're not going to do anything more. So Cancers, you guys saw me shuffle. At the tail end of Pisceans, we have unexpected income. That was at the bottom of the deck. 
and I'm saving that. We're going to get more into what we're seeing the Ten of Pentacles as well. But let's, let's shuffle some more. Wealthy man. Somebody becomes very wealthy or very well off by the Cancerian season. A lot. Of, look at that change. Lots of extra change or change in the way that you live your life because you're suddenly a wealthy man. Or a wealthy man comes into your life and, I don't know, changes your life. <laughs> okay. Expectation. Again, expectation showing up. Any other cards that want to come out? False person wanted to show up too. So be careful of false people. If you suddenly make money, unexpected income, people might come back from the past wanting some stuff from you. This could trigger people. They're energetically, they're suddenly drawn to you and they want you somehow, some way, for some reason. I'd be very cautious. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So Ten of Pentacles is telling us like... money i mean there's really no other way to say it look cut the deck in half i'm seeing the nine of pentacles but let's try to get a few cards to see what comes out not much longer not much longer that's what i'm hearing it's not much longer everybody's gonna win everybody's gonna win the circle the the world i'm sorry full circle the nine of cups feels like Seven of Swords is here. Again, we're seeing Leo and the water signs. So you could be intertwined with a Leo. It could be something like that effect. Let's see. I have to... <coughs> Excuse me. I have to sneeze again, but it's not coming out. And I don't know, suddenly the sneeze finally came out. Is there some sort of like a release from something? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Ace of Pentacles. We have the Aries and the Cancer and the Gemini card. A choice is made in regards to love. The Ace of Pentacles is here. There's so much money that's surrounding the Cancer during the month of May. A lot of unexpected opportunities is what I'm feeling. Oh, man. Voyage wisdom. <clears throat> I'm feeling that by the month of May, new beginnings come around. Um, I think it takes until the month of May for these changes to be seen or realized of some in some way, shape, or form. I feel like by the 20s of May. No later than the third. I mean, the third week, though. May 1st to the 8th is week 1. May 9th to like the 16th is May 2. May uh, Week 3 is like May 17th to the 24th. So I don't know, but it feels like something happens during that third week. There's like an adjustment or a change or there's some sort of like a push forward that is brought about by an opportunity. So that's what I have for cancer. Um... Very similar reading to Pisces, so I don't know if this is being overlapped or if the collective is just about to like have like a new opportunity or new way forward that they just haven't felt or had for a long time. As we know, Cancer's eclipse season is very, very, uh, it pushes us forward. Um, eclipses in general will kind of like eclipse people in and eclipse people out. Like if you're not meant to be if something is not meant to be, then it's going to leave during eclipse season in particular. But if it is meant to stay or meant to come in, usually like eclipse season will bring forth people. Okay, so be prepared for that. Okay. Scorpios. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising signs, especially the sun and the rising signs. This is for you. Let's get into it. We're going to use our kipper. You're re I hear you're renovating or remodeling or redecorating a house. Message of concern. 
you're concerned about somebody about somebody's decisions concern is here a lot of concern for Scorpio a family room somebody that you thought was close to you there's some sort of a concern that needs to be like overcome or addressed it could also be that there's a maternal figure that's controlling the situation and they really shouldn't be um, I'm seeing false person high honor I would be very cautious this month it feels like there's going to be some sort of loss or recovery from loss. Um, a recovery from or like a concern, a relationship that is destroyed or that it no longer is here. It could also be that you are like struggling with the idea of love even being possible anymore. Or just like the things that used to be something that you like to do are kind of like stripped away. Like the things that made you feel really good or made you feel happy, like they just don't make you feel good anymore because like somebody destroyed that for you or like somebody made you feel a certain way. And so it's just kind of like your guard is up in a different way than it ever has been before. And it's like you're not desperate for love. You're not seeking or searching for love anymore. And I feel like because of that, you're kind of able to focus your attention on a new things. Um, I feel like, again, a relationship was recently destroyed. Like, this would have been the past one to three months. Um, I'm seeing the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, so I definitely feel like this energy is one where, yeah, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this, it was time for this relationship to end, and I feel like you also have your focus on somebody else that you're going to approach by the end of summer at the latest. My guides are showing me, like, don't wait. I feel like there's going to be a push to get this resolved, to, like, get this problem to be overcome. Inner peace is here. Could also be that for the Scorpio, like, money comes in and that brings some version of inner peace. But it's kind of like, what happens when you have everything? What happens when you already have the money? Like nothing else matters and you just want to find somebody that you can spend the rest of your life with type of a vibe, you know? I have inner peace and I have openness. Um, I also feel like the next full moon between now and between the, the coming full moon in May and the next full moon is when that inner peace comes full circle. Now this could also be Again, finances because we have the koi fish. So, yeah. I kind of even, I don't really want to say much more. We have the new beginnings that came up. I just feel like there's some sort of like a breakthrough where somebody understands or realizes like the, the truth. And the moon kind of shows this person the truth. And once they see the truth, they're free. Like once they realize the truth about themselves, where their ego isn't just like blinding them from realizing something about how they are doing things or like the methods are not working or the methods are old, they no longer serve anybody. They no, they no longer serve whoever this is. And like that <clears throat> is kind of part of this. So, okay, that's it guys. Thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way. I hope that this May stuff, May energy, the information helps you guys for this month and prepares you for what is to come. I will see you in another video. Don't forget to check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. Take care, guys. Bye.